When patients have surgery for epilepsy, one of the best surgeries, the curative surgeries, are resection. You, you cut out a bad part of the brain. It either hasn't formed well or it's formed abnormally. And when people think about having a part of their brain removed, they are so afraid of, well, will I know my family? Will I forget my piano lessons when I was in you know, junior high school? Um, it really depends on the type of surgery. There are surgery for seizures, for epilepsy, that does involve the areas that control memory. So sometimes memory can be affected. Sometimes language can be affected. And it really depends on where the surgery is being done. But will I be the same person? Yes, you will still be the same person. Um, will I be a vegetable? No. People would not recommend surgery. Surgeons nor epileptologists would recommend surgery if it was going to make an individual a vegetable. Uh, obviously, we always talk about the risks and benefits. This is neurosurgery. This is brain surgery. It has serious complications, but they're very, very small with modern microsurgical technique, modern maximally advantageous guidance with computers and, and intraoperative mapping of the brain functions. It has minimized and reduced the side effects of morbidity and really minimized any mortality that is associated with epilepsy surgery. Uh, current neurosurgical techniques are really very refined they're very guided to specific problem solving. We minimize incisions, we minimize bone openings. So it's really, we're not changing the person. We really want to get rid of the bad brain. And if there's anything you want to get rid of, it's bad brain. Um, let's see, another misconception about surgery is uh, how long it will take to recover. When we can do surgery that's relatively minimally invasive, uh, patients can be at home recovering uh, between four weeks or six weeks and back at work, just like if you had any other surgery. Sometimes it's quicker. With minimally invasive surgery, there are things that we can do with a small, small, tiny uh, opening into the uh, back of the head uh, where we can introduce something as high-tech as a laser. The laser can destroy the bad brain tissue. You get out of the hospital the next day. That's overnight brain surgery. So there are a lot of things that um, you shouldn't be afraid of. The misconceptions that, oh my goodness, I'm going to be out of work for six months or a year, I'll be laid up, or I won't be able to go back to work, I won't be able to be who I was before, uh, those are probably the most common misconceptions we see.